Hello everybody, Bobby here. Welcome to the very first episode of Attack of the B Team. Where I am going to be playing single player on the Attack of the B Team mod pack. Just back out of here for a sec. Let's just have a quick boo. Look at this blue stained leaf. Isn't that pretty? Let's go look over here. This is where I spawned in. I have to remember that I don't have OptiFine. And this is going to run fairly slow on my computer. And I apologize if it looks somewhat like a slideshow. I do apologize. There is not a lot I can do about that until I upgrade my PC. Which should be soon. I'm hoping. But I'm getting a whopping 10 frames per second when I am recording. So we'll see how long this series lasts. But I really wanted to play this mod pack on YouTube. I've been fiddling around with it on my own. Um, and I really like it. I've been having fun. But I decided to start a new world because there have been some updates in this mod pack that I uh, haven't utilized yet. And I thought the best way to do so... What the hell is going on there? Let's go have a peek. Oh, okay. <laughs> that looked weird. The distance. But yeah, I thought the best way to utilize some of these new things... Uh, would just be to start a new world, and I figured why the hell won't not record it. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to gather some materials, get a basic shelter on the go, and I will see you guys in a moment. So dusk is upon us. I didn't really get very far, but I think I kind of like this little lake. I'm thinking about just digging into this hill. Staying here, so let's just get us a crafting table. Plop that down right here for now. Um, let's take half of these and make them into six sticks. Oh, wait, place. Oops. Getting ahead of myself here. There's some sticks, and gonna, I might as well make the rest of these into planks. Let's get a shovel. Cool. Oh, dig in right here. Night is upon us. I'm gonna need a pickaxe too, I suppose. Just a wood one for now. Until we get some... Look at all these items. There's 85 pages of items on the left here. Look at all these. Holy crap. Tool bindings and all sorts of goodness. I'm excited to play. Excited to get some new cool stuff. Oh, gravel. Mod developers, why could you not remove gravel? Just make a little hidey hole here. I have no coal at the moment, so I'm gonna have to make some charcoal, I think. Just get enough for a furnace. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna start digging into my little hole here, and uh, I will show you guys when I have an update. Oh, I suck at zombie noises. But yeah, I killed a zombie, and I turned into a zombie. A lot more kick-ass than the other zombies, though. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Just wanted to show you that. I'm still uh, digging in my hole here. <laughs> Actually, I haven't made it very far. But yeah, I just want to show you. Oh, baby. I think I've hit the mother load. Look at all this redstone. Like, I have a feeling... Actually, I know for a fact with this mod pack, I'm not going to need a ton. But I'm going to need some. So this is good. Uh, this is a cave that's, well, you can see in the top right hand corner, there's that map. Um, that little red dot is where my little hole is. And, oh, I can't mine redstone yet. The, the whole reason why I came down here in the first place was to try and find some, at least iron or tin, yes. 
get a bit of a better pick going on. But, uh... Oh, baby. Lots of tin. Lots of marble. I think I'm gonna make my... I got a lot of marble already. Got some cooking up back at the base. So I think I'm gonna make something. My little hole. I'm gonna use some of this marble. This decor. Because it's really nice stuff. I really like the marble. It's just like cobble, but with a white texture. And that white texture makes all the difference in the world. Trust me, I love it. But yeah, so I'm gonna get back to gathering some more resources. Oh, what's... Copper, right? Okay. Get out of here. Oh man, I had the most, I wish I would have hit the record button, but I was scared out of my mind. I uh, came out of the hole during the daytime. It's nighttime right now again. I came out of the hole, but there's a skeleton sitting under a tree. So, of course, I killed it, right? But it was the first skeleton I killed, so I turned into it. And I wasn't standing under a tree. So I almost died. It was close. Very close call. Because <laughs> I started burning up like the skeletons do. But anyways, I am going to go smack my pick into the ground a few more times. It's almost broken, so it won't be too long. Oh, iron! Finally! won't be too long, so I will catch you guys shortly. Jesus Christ! Ooh, look what I found! Look how cute he is! I'm gonna die though. Oh, jeez. Apparently you need lava to fuel it. So, uh, and yeah, I'm on the hunt. Let's just see if I can do this safely. I've already died once. I don't want to die again. Uh... Aha! Get out of here. Let's see here. Anything good in these chests? Uh, random things. White stone. Gunpowder. Dragon egg. Cool. What's in here? Ooh, a safari net. More dragon eggs. That's cool. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. I will uh, show you the building process of the of the thing. The what? The smelting machine. When uh, we get there. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Cool. Found a spawner not too far from my house. You can see on the map. All right. See you guys in a minute. Diamonds! Yeah! Yeah, diamonds! 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 I love me some diamonds! Look at all these! Holy crap! That's gonna be enough to get me a pick! Yeah, baby! Well, back at the little hole, I just wanted to show you guys these drying racks. Oh, leg. Oh, leg. It's okay. There we go. Um, how do they work? If you get up in there, somehow, you can knock these things off. Holy, I am getting literally six frames per second. Come on, come on. There's a way. There's a way. There we go. Don't know what I did there. This? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, there we go. You just right click the drying rack itself. What? Is there a torch in there? Okay, weird. Um, but yeah, you can uh, cook up this rotten flesh. Well, not cook it, but dry it out, and you can actually eat it. And it heals. 
two hearts, which isn't bad. I mean, usually get a ton of that stuff just kicking around. Okay, so I need to clear out some space here. I need a five by five grid. There's five, two, three, four, five, okay. And then just empty this out. And we're gonna need some things. I don't know if I have enough material. I might have to get some more. Actually, I'm pretty sure I will have to get some more. But we got that hole now. Going to my chest. We're gonna need this, 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 and these, and this, and this. Now, if I remember correctly, um, you gotta lay out these seared bricks on the bottom. Just make a platform. Like so. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more. And then put the seared tank down and the smeltery controller. So one here. We'll put this here. Cool. Um, and then fill in another hollow layer around. I don't even think I'm gonna have enough to do that. Maybe. Ugh. Dogs across the road keep barking. Only when I'm recording, though. They're quiet the rest of the time. Okay. And then, want to put a smeltery drain here. Doesn't matter where it goes, with a faucet on it. Dunk. And then below it, put this casting table. Like so. Now the light comes on saying it's good to go. Cool. Um, and then you put some lava in here. Let me put the lava on my hot bar so. Oh man, that's going to need a lot of lava. I tell that already. But I found a ravine, so that's cool. I'll just have to make more buckets. And then, I think if we get some ore, let's say silver, for example. Go over to the controller here. Yeah! Now it's smelting up. it that doesn't look very silver but anyways we can add another layer on the outside here make it as big as we want the more bigger we make it the more it will hold let's just see if that works oh doggies be quiet There we go, so now we got some molten silver, which makes 18 ingots. Oh, I'm gonna go hush these dogs, I'll be right back. Okay, so, I'm gonna finish constructing that later, but i um, just gonna show you a couple more things. We need to make this stencil table. Um, so that is like that. Oh, we need to make one of those blank patterns first. So that is a stick. Actually, we need to make two of these, so... We'll make two. Good. And then... I wonder if I can pick up one of my chests, because I am running out of wood. This one I can pick up. Just got cobble in it. 
Where's the chest? That's in my inventory. Okay. So if we put this chest with a blank pattern, we can get a pattern chest. Ooh, and a new book. Materials and new. I think I already have that. Um, and then if we put a plank and that, we get the stencil table. So, we'll put these down in this room. This will be the Tinker's Construct room. Uh, we'll put that there. Put this beside it. Cool. Cool. Okay, so now we can use this. I thought it came with patterns, but I guess not. Um, but we can make these... Uh, actually, let's see here. The stencils are for something else, but... Patterns. Yes, okay. So say, for example, we wanted to make a pickaxe head pattern. I don't think I can do it in that one. How do I bring up the menu? There is a way, I know. Okay, well, let's just make another blank. I don't think I have enough wood. Oh, my word. Can you use palm wood? I don't think you can. Unless there's been an update. Let's see here. I know I have some palm wood planks somewhere. There they are. Um, and I have some sticks, so if I go like this, and I go like this, no. Okay, so I'm going to run out and grab some more wood, and I will catch you guys in just a second. Alright, so I got a little bit more wood, and we're good to go. So, if we put our blank pattern on the stencil table, uh... Let's just say we want to make a pickaxe head. Pacha. Let's make a pickaxe handle pattern. And then we'll also need a tool binding, so we should probably make two of these. Okay. Um, let's just put one on there. I'm not sure tool rod. I think that's what we need. Let's just see here. Um, sword blade, knife blade. Yeah, I think it's just a tool rod. Chisel head. Okay, yeah. We'll get that. And tool binding. Looks like a little X. There it is. Cool. So I'll stick those in there for now. Now, how are we doing for lava? We got a little bit. Let's just see here. Just to make something simple, you can actually put ingots in here too, which is kind of cool. Um. Yeah, but let's say, uh, where's the pickaxe head? Let's put this in here, and then once that is melted, go to the controller. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Smelting iron. Yes, we are. Da. Okay, cool. So we want to make sure this one's on top. The iron. Look at it in there. Isn't it cool? And then. Turn this on somehow. Turn on. Oh, it's not full enough. Okay, well anyways, I'll just explain it to you and I'll have to work on this off camera. So you put your little mold in there, fill this up, pour it out into your mold, 
and then you'll get a pickaxe head and then you just make the the binding and the, the rod and each material has different benefits um, if you want to check it out go to the wiki it's awesome and then you can make your own custom tools which is really cool cool excuse me and you can add things onto them like uh, kinda like enchantments after it's all made up so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and end the very first episode there so thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed watching please hit that like button subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos that is all for me have a good day and goodbye